they are so excited to take part in these activities and they've actually spent the whole week preparing they've had songs of freedom they've had dance performances and also later a 500 strong march around the estate this is a boarding school uh, in Ogun State, just on the outskirts of Lagos and uh, they're going to march around this estate to raise awareness all 500 students in this boarding school uh, but these students have been telling me that um, they believe that they are the leaders for today not just for tomorrow and they think it's really crucial to give back and raise awareness about the theme of forced labor Nigeria has its issues with forced labor very high incidence of of, of uh, children working in and uh, farms and other uh, uh, places and these children are really really uh, determined that they should lend their voice and let me bring in one of them the school's head girl who has uh, been coordinating some of the activities here so tell me Neri what does freedom mean to you okay thank you Normally, people are limited to their own anxiety, to their insecurities, and to their own perspective of how people perceive them. And I have been in a situation like that before, and that forced me to come out of my shell and made me climb the ranks to being the head girl of a prestigious school like Corona. With this, I have the influence to even bring people, to make people come out of their own shell as well, and like bring in that, that spirit and make them make their voice heard just that's just how I perceive freedom. Absolutely. So how have you been preparing for My Freedom Day? This is something that the school does every year, actually. So how have you been preparing this year? Well, like you said, we, we have done dance performances, drama, spoken words. We have read a lot about child labor. Um, we are going to do a walk this evening. And all over the school, there are posters talking about freedom, child labor, and all of that.